WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and it's a uh, looks like the Red Sea out here. Nearly everything on my screen is red, with the exception of Apple, Google, and Tesla. The U.S. dollar index, you've got the, that's trading higher, but that's really being posed or being caused by the uh, big move in the Japanese yen. That's up over one full point. That's weakening, putting strength inside the U.S. dollar index. So you got the Dow down 164, S&P's up 21, NASDAQ down 71, Russell is basically flat. Semis are off 43 points. Gold is down 21 bucks. Silver's off 30 cents. Lights recruit back a buck 33. Natural gas off three cents. The 30 year Treasury down 19 ticks. Trading out at 126.12. Let's try to figure out what all that means. We'll take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We're in the left hand side. Now, it's possible. So the only, um, the only equity daily equity future contract. And I think for the most part, well, so the only daily equity future contract that doesn't have a topping pattern is the ES Mini. It could, don't know if it will, it depends on the close. It could generate a Three River Evening Star uh, pattern that would then go ahead and we'd have all four uh, of the equity future contracts with topping signals. And that would then suggest to me, if we get that bearish reversal candle, that we would see a move back to the 4027, 4067 area. Spot volatility is still well below its 50 day exponential moving average, so it makes that call somewhat suspect. We're trading below yesterday's low just slightly. That's a bullish message for the SP 500. The NQ still trading above the top of its daily profile, so even though it's got a TD9 count top, its overall message is neutral. US dollar index is where the trouble is. Uh, right now, this is traded above 103.85. 103.85 happens to be the swing point that if closed above would trigger an A to B equal C D to the upside. That would take us up at least to the 105.56 area. Gold, you can see that's trading lower, trading below the weekly profile. That's the green one. That's at 1868.50. Its next area of support is 1827. That's its daily TD9 count breakout support level. In the case of silver, also trading below right now its TD9 count bottom pattern that's at 2183 so a close below that would suggest to move to 2104 lights we crew just a consolidation with inside its daily profile in the case of uh, natural gas yesterday uh, this is now the april contract that we're taking a look at uh, price is trying to stay inside that profile level we need to close above 262 today to do that support at two dollars and forty four cents and finally the 30-year treasury it is trading now below the bottom of its daily profile that's a signal that it wants to make a move back to this swing point here from december 30th anywhere between 124.11 and 125.21 folks stay tuned for the trader zed show if you would but if you're starting your wednesday please have a wonderful one and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon take care now